Hi Aries, this is a love reading, okay? This is going to be um, how they feel about you. Commitment is coming towards you, wow. Okay, things are getting serious. So some of you guys could currently be in a relationship and things might be moving to the next level or you have somebody coming in that is going to be end up in a commitment. This could be a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius here. Some of y'all could be, this is not going to be for everybody, but some of y'all could be uh, meeting a fire sign who wants to confess how they feel. Well, this is somebody from the past. This is somebody from the past, okay? <clears throat> that message isn't for everybody. Or you could be a fire sign. What else for the collective? We have gambling. Oh my goodness. Let me get one more here. Because this could either be something negative as like you're dealing with somebody here who's... This is, could be some negative energy where there's somebody who is already committed, okay? That's coming towards you. Or this could be for some of y'all, this is positive energy where you're taking a risk. Show me this gambling energy. <clears throat> yeah, this person's a liar. See how that changed just that quick? <laughs> oh, I'm glad we clarified. Oh my God. Okay, somebody here is a liar. Oh, Jesus. Somebody here might be lying and saying they're, they're getting a divorce or they are recently divorced and they're not recently divorced. You could be an air sign. They could be an air sign or fire sign. Hmm. All right. So messages. Somebody's coming towards you that they may have some issues with their finances right now. This person may have an addiction to gambling or the spirit is saying don't take a risk with this person because they could be attached to somebody else. For some of y'all, this is somebody from the past that you know. Others of you, you may not know this person. So what else can the collective expect here? Who and what is coming towards them? The collective. Queen of Pentacles energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, more Taurus energy with the Empress. Ooh. Somebody is in some good energy. Divine Feminine, Three of Pentacles. Whew. Y'all are really looking good and doing good. Like you feel good on the inside out. You're high vibing. Your money's looking good. You um, are someone that's easy to work with. Someone who's easy to talk to. What's this three of pentacles about? Somebody maybe wanting to come towards you and work with you here. Two of cups. Oh my gosh. Jeez, y'all have a partnership coming in. But I feel like there's some conflict over this. I see the five of wands on the bottom of the deck. I rebuke that demon in the name of Jesus. What else do we have for the collective here? Show me more about this partnership. The strength card, Leo energy. Mm. And the hair of fine. Wow. The, okay, a lot of strong Taurus energy here, earth energy and Leo energy, but you could be any sign, honestly. This is great. You definitely do have a commitment coming in, but there is a liar in your energy or this could be for... Some of y'all and not for all of y'all. So just apply it where it fits or just be ready and prepared, child, and use your discernment about who's coming towards you, right? Um, if it feels right to you, then good. Or just take it slow. Make people prove who they are. Uh, make them show you your their value and their worth because this is your value and your worth right now. Okay, the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. This is your value and your worth. You may be a single mother. If you're not a single mother, you're someone here who is doing well in, in their career. You're stable financially. You are a very loving, kind, nurturing being, feminine, okay, specifically. You might be birthing something new here. <clears throat> What's going on here for the collective? Let me show me more. Ooh. There's a strong spiritual connection coming in. What's this nine of swords about, though? Show me more. Somebody's in some stressed out anxiety. Are, okay, knight of pentacles. <clears throat> Two of pentacles. So you might have a choice in between a past person or a new person or two people or more. You don't know what choice you're going to make. Now, again, this could be past, present, or future energy. So just apply it where it goes. 
but something here is moving slow. Some of y'all might be like, okay, where is this new love coming in? You might be real busy in your life right now. You might be feeling like you're not ready for love. That could be the case too. <clears throat> the King of Swords. Oh, this could be a King of Swords, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius energy. Somebody here juggled you and took too long to give you a commitment. Who is this King of Swords? Somebody that you don't, you're you no longer in a relationship with here. So this is somebody you know. Death and rebirth energy. Scorpio. <clears throat> so this person from the past juggled you. You know. And they regret it. And literally come back to me. Somebody just said come back to me in music. Okay. Oh man. So this King of Swords wants you to come back. Yeah they do. Ever since it's been over, Death Card, Five of Pentacles, they're like, oh my goodness, I miss you. I miss I miss my Empress. I miss my Queen of Pentacles. Oof. This person's been trying to keep themselves busy with work. Since since you moved on, this person definitely, oh yeah, see what I'm saying? This person was in some Seven of Swords. This is the liar. Okay, Seven of Swords, Ace of Wands. This is somebody here who who lies, cheats. They may have a sex addiction. They keep secrets from you. I feel like you closed the cycle out with this person and you moved on with this Three of Wands and the World card being here. You have closed the door to this person and you're not interested in being with them again. And this person is feeling that energy. They feel the distance emotionally or physically. You and this person could live at a distance. Maybe not the same city. Maybe not the same state here. I feel like this masculine wants to change. They know they have to change to get you back. But man, they're definitely stressing out. Show me more about this King of Swords. But y'all have a new person. Yeah, Six of Swords. You've moved on. This person feels abandoned since you moved on and ended this. Definitely some travel here. Mm, 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 mm. So, Empress, you moved on. This was a player. <clears throat> I feel like you have new love coming in, a new partnership. This is somebody here who's not the, the new person that's coming in. They're going to be reliable. They're going to be a team player. They're not going to work against you. They're not going to keep secrets. Y'all are both going to be on the same page. Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups. It's all about being on the same page. Equal give and take. No imbalance in the connection. Look at this bottom of the deck. It's the King of Cups as I look down. In reverse, this past person... They could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, but the point is this person was emotionally manipulative to you or they were closed off emotionally and they juggled you. This person didn't, I'm seeing the Seven of Pentacles here too. This person did not want to share their feelings and their emotions with you. I, that's unfortunate. Well, show me more here about the situation with this, this King of Swords energy. Ego death. I'm telling you, this person is definitely missing you, stressing out. Nine of swords, five of pentacles. They're going through an ego death since you moved. You never looked back. You left. You never looked back. You know, and that's okay. This person is realizing they made a mistake and they want to make things right. Definitely could be a Capricorn or an Aquarius here because this ego death card has the winner. Okay. Well, show me more here about this king of swords. Keep an open mind. <clears throat> while looking for love to sample the array of possibilities that life presents you. This card says February on the bottom of the deck. So you could be an Aquarius or y'all definitely dealing with an Aquarius. But I just feel like spirit wants you to keep an open heart and keep an open mind because I feel like you're about to have some options. You got a new option coming in here that's going to be great. A strong spiritual connection. Something that's going to lead to a higher level of commitment. You're going to fall in love. You're, you, the two of you are going to be on the same page. No arguing. This person is going to value you for the true empress and queen of pentacles that you are. They're going to see you as wife material, as husband material. Somebody they could spend the rest of their life with. <coughs> Show me more here. We have awakened. So this awakened energy... <coughs> Is only, I feel like, this old masculine from the past who wants to come back. They're definitely awakened. But I feel like the only reason why they've awakened is because they're being forced to, like, <clears throat> 
come to terms and be by themselves or like you really put your foot down you you set some distance with this person emotionally and physically <clears throat> yeah this person is going through a rebirth which makes sense right because we have the death and rebirth card here that could be a scorpio and then we have another rebirth energy right here right it says no going through a dark night of the soul the space between who they were and who they will become yeah so this person is like i said they know they have to change and i feel like this has been real slow you know this says slow and steady seriously and that's what this nine of pen i mean knight of pentacles is that's slow energy it really is you know what if you're single i feel like i am talking to somebody who's not in a relationship who's not married because this independence energy is here which is more energy of like Taurus, right? Um, you're meant, to, you were meant to be alone so you could learn some lessons. And I feel like you've accepted this because you put in efforts to learn how to like not wait for somebody to rescue you or have to depend on someone to do something. I feel like I'm talking to someone who does not have to depend on anybody else because you are truly independent here. That is, a, yeah, divine love. You signed up to do this journey together before you were born and nothing will go wrong. Leo energy. I feel like that's you and this new person, not the old person. Because this old person hasn't learned. You know what I'm saying? Let's move on to a different deck here. So within... You know, this person, here's the thing. Even though they're going through, the person from the past is going through like a death and rebirth and an ego death. They still have some old fears that are lingering that they need to get rid of. They still have some cycles that they need to close. Yeah, they do. And this new person here is not going to rush you. But I do feel like things with this new person are going to move effortless cause effortlessly because the two of y'all are going to feel like more like friends, you know? You're definitely going to be on the same page. So show me more here for the collective. I feel like you've already let go of the person from the past. I feel like the person from the past, you're no longer annoyed with them. You've just forgiven them and you've moved on with this annoyance and reverse energy. Yeah. You're like, you know what? I forgive you, but this person's like, please, will you take me back with this reunion energy? I don't see you doing it anymore. Yeah, I told you independence is out here twice. You are amazing collective and you are in this amazing energy you feel confident you're in this strength energy you could have spiritually ascended you know i feel like you're just doing well you're no longer who you used to be you're stronger than what who you were then when you were dealing with this past person you are stronger now the lesson that you learned from dealing with that past person when they whatever they put you through it made you stronger and more resilient and more independent. And you're not even holding any grudges against this person. Anymore. You're really not. You forgive them, but you're ready to move on. Yeah, spring energy. I feel like that's you blossoming into something new and moving on with your life here. Definitely, I feel like something is over and you're just ready for new. That's what I'm getting here. There goes that mental entrapment energy. That's that nine of swords. That's that That's that masculine from the past. Who is this in this mental entrapment? Oh, oh. Hold on, y'all. Somebody who does not want you to release them. Release and reverse. You see this? Mental entrapment. And release and reverse and on the bottom of the deck is freedom this person knows that you've left them you are, you are in the six of swords energy you've moved on you don't want them back you are independent you're not concerned about them and they know you're in this oh wait can y'all see that they know you're in this freedom single nine of pentacles empress queen of pentacles energy you they know you don't need them anymore you're strong so you've already yeah you're strong you're, you know what I'm saying? You you are now in this queen of swords energy. You're guarding your heart. You are no longer this queen of cups loving person for this past person. You, you're not. In the past, I feel like this person just like may have hid some things or there may have been some red flags that you missed. 
but you learn okay don't dismiss the red flags anymore yeah don't dismiss the red flags anymore period so you took a step back and you moved on with this six of swords energy yeah show me more here for the collective journey so you're on a new journey like i said moving towards something new and you have a new beginning coming in with a new masculine here a love letter and dreams and illusions and reflection this this person from the past is dreaming about you thinking about you heavily thinking about contacting you thinking about the past thinking about just like wanting to talk to you wow somebody here could be a cancer show me more here you guys are, yeah, look at this. This is, I'm telling you, harmony is here. This is that new connection. Romance and true love. Summer, summertime. This is getting ready to happen for you right now or in the summertime. Gifts and offers. You are about to have several romantic offers, several people, but only one person is going to give you that true harmony, that true balance. That's that person that's coming towards you in this three of pentacles and two of cups energy, just period. That's like four of wands energy. Could be a new twin or high level soulmate. Yeah. What else does divine feminine need to know? What else does divine feminine need to know here? Good for you, divine feminine. Yeah. Don't. Okay. This blind spot energy spirit is saying, okay, thank you. Look what came back out again. This was on the bottom of the deck a second ago. Blind spot and stop came out again with make the effort. Spirit wants you to see this person from the past for who they are and understand this person it still hasn't fully healed and changed. They're still not who you need them to be. They're still not vibing like you. They're still not able to meet you where you are, unfortunately. It does not mean they haven't changed, okay? I'm not saying they haven't done any work. I'm not saying they haven't changed because it looks like they've done a lot of reflection. It looks like they're healing and they know, at least they know what they did and they regret it. And they're thinking about it. And um, they have feelings and emotions. I can see that. That's healthy. That is healthy. That's good. But that's not enough because spirit does not want you to dismiss the red flags. Spirit is saying, don't allow this person to come in and just say, oh, yeah, let's make the make this work. Don't. How can I say this? Just don't miss the red flags. Make them work for it. Make them prove it. Make them see. Because I feel like spirit, there's something here that this person might be keeping from you with this blind spot energy. It's like this person doesn't want you to see something. That could be what this energy is. Let me see here. What's this blind spot and stop energy? Clarify blind spot and stop energy, please. <sighs> Again, spirit says, Walk away, eight of cups, eight of pentacles, and continue to work on yourself and focus on yourself. Mm -mm. This person is going to want to come in and make the effort and spirit is saying, keep on moving. Yeah. Show me more here about this stop energy and this eight of cups. Thank you. Storm ahead. Storm ahead came out in reverse hidden truth is on the bottom of the deck i told you listen spirit is saying there will be there will not be a tower moment or some of y'all may not even be shocked that this person is getting ready to come back towards you or when this person comes back towards you they may not even be like it may not be a shock for you you probably were like or you're going to be like oh well i'm not surprised i knew you would be back it makes plenty of sense because I know my worth, I know my value. Um, but the storm ahead in reverse is like, the truth is this person, that's the tower in reverse energy Scorpio. This person still hasn't changed. That's the that's what spirit doesn't want you to miss. Okay. Spirit wants you to slow your roll with this stop energy and see things for who they are or make this person improve it. And I feel like if you do that, for those of you who want to do that, right, because you have free will, you'll quickly see that this person hasn't changed. Yeah. What's this? New pathway. Spirit wants you to take a new path. 
you and this person may have made uh, memories together. I feel like this person really is upset and they have a lot of emotions for you, but this person held back. This person held back a lot of emotion from you. Remember we saw that King of Cups in reverse, you guys? Yeah. Be careful with this person. I feel like this person also too may try to get you in the bedroom. Be careful with that energy because we have climax here with intimacy. Be careful with that. Mm. This person may feel like I'm getting the energy of like them wanting to thinking they can come in, say whatever, let's make this work. Let me sweep you off your feet. They want to try to like be gentle with you or, or try to like woo you or romance you. Get you in the bed and then you find out this person hasn't changed. Take a step back. I feel like you're going to continue to do this because you were tired of this person. Tired and standing and take a step back is here. So this is pretty, um, this is pretty straightforward today. So if y'all need a personal reading, just let me know. Hit the uh, like button. Let's see what Zodiac signs you could be dealing with. And subscribe to the channel too. And join us on Patreon. Also, that's where we do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and Twin Flame readings over there. And, and they get Oracle readings every week. That's only $5 a month. You could be dealing with a Cancer or you could be a Cancer. We have Capricorn energy here. We have Virgo energy here. We have Aries energy here and Capricorn again. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with a um, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, or that Aries, Leo, Sag that we saw too. Okay. But continue to stay high vibing because your energy looks really good. It really does. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.